Welcome back. We have the Cassini's identity here, fn plus 1 times fn minus 1 minus fn squared is equal to plus or minus 1, depending on whether n is even or odd. Um, this identity is the basis of a really interesting mathematical trick that has the name uh, the Fib Fibonacci bamboozlement. And um, I think the easiest way to show you uh, how the Fibonacci bamboozlement works is to go to a, uh, a beautiful website built by Ken Wesson that uh, everybody can uh, access. And I'll show you that on the, on the video. So here's his website. Um, so what it lets us do is to uh, show you the Fibonacci bamboozlement. We start with a square. So this is, as, uh, is 8 by 8. So there's eight rows and eight columns of little, these little white squares here. And we take this uh, square, which has an area of 64, if each area is, is a unit of 1. And we break it up into uh, two trapezoids and two triangles. Okay? Um, 8 is a Fibonacci number, right? And uh, we're breaking it up to a trapezoid with a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is a Fibonacci number. And this triangle has a height of 3. 3 is also a Fibonacci number. Okay? So this mathematical bamboozlement is really has to do with the Fibonacci numbers and has to do with, in fact, Cassini's identity. So let's see. So we have this 8 by 8 square. And we move this bottom piece into this rectangle down here. We move this uh, trapezoid into this rectangle on the top. We take this triangle and we slip it in right here. And we take this triangle and we slip it in right here. Okay? So we've taken this square and rearranged it into a, into a rectangle. But look, this square is 8 by 8. So this square has area 64, right? 8 by 8. But this rectangle is 5 by 13. And this rectangle then has area 65. So somehow we've created one unit of area moving from the square into the rectangle, right? We've created one unit of area. You, you think that's possible? Let's, let's, let me show you one more time, right? This one comes in here. This trapezoid goes up here. This triangle slips right in here perfectly, right? And this triangle slips right in here. 64 to 65. You can become a very wealthy man if you can make things of 64 quantity into things of 65 quantity, right? So what is going on here? This is uh, Cassini's identity. So this is the difference 8 squared, right? Or let's say 5 times 13, 65, minus 8 squared is equal to 1, right? This is the Cassini's identity. So how did we manage to fit an area of 64 into an area of 65? Well. We cheated, or Ken Wesson cheated, right? We can see how we cheated by clicking this honest button down here. And then we see this white area here, right? We can zoom in on it. This is the missing area all along this diagonal is the missing area. We went from 64 to 65. The missing area is spread across the diagonal, which is why you couldn't really see it with your naked eye, which makes this such a fascinating uh, trick. Okay, this, this was supposed to be a favorite of Lewis Carroll, who wrote uh, Alice in Wonderland. He was an amateur mathematician also, and he, he really enjoyed this puzzle. So what, what is going on here? It's the um, slope here. The slope of the trapezoid is different than the slope of the triangle, right? So this area opens up as we move down. 
And then when the two triangles are together, the area will stay the same because the two triangles have the same slope, right? And then when we move back into the trapezoid and the triangle, the, this missing area comes back together again, right? It turns out that these slopes are just ratios of uh, Fibonacci numbers. They're not quite consecutive Fibonacci numbers, but they differ by, there's one in the middle, right? And uh, there are two different ratios. So when the, the numbers become large, the slopes converge to the same slope. So when you have more and more um, squares, uh, more and more of these little squares in the big square, the, the, the bamboozlement will become better and better. Okay? So this is a rather neat uh, uh, puzzle. You can uh, make it out of a piece of paper uh, uh, with a gridded paper and cut it up and you can see it physically. It's very uh, interesting to show uh, children, for instance. If you happen to be an uh, elementary school teacher, I'm sure they would enjoy it very much. Okay? See you next time.